New year, new goals for Sacramento. Mayor Daryl Steinberg has been recently sworn in for his second term as the region continues to work with issues related to coronavirus. He's here now live to chat with us. Good morning, Mayor Steinberg. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Aubrey. May this be a, a better year for all of us in 2021. Oh, yes, we can all hope. I mean, hopefully it's just up from here. And I also want to congratulate you on being sworn in for your second term as Sacramento mayor Thank alongside you three new council members. So let's let's get started. Do you have specific goals to mark the new year for the city of Sacramento? Oh, I have many goals, Aubrey, and certainly one of them is to help the community recover from this pandemic. Um, you know, the quicker that uh, the vaccine is publicly available to people, and I don't think it'll be for a number of months, um, we need to begin transitioning. We need to help our business community get back um, and our downtown get its footing back. And we need to help the working people that are out of work and we need to protect the tenants that um, are worried about losing their housing. Um, we, and we need to continue to fund an economic recovery strategy here in Sacramento. So that's number one, it's recovering from the pandemic and giving people hope again and, and allowing people when, it, when it's appropriate to safely get out and regain um, those community connections. That's number one. Number two, affordable housing and homelessness. It has to be at the top of anyone's priority list. Tonight at the city council, we're gonna seek direction to uh, begin the process to create a $100 million affordable housing bond and to start uh, what I call a master planning process to identify where we want to place shelters for people who are homeless, uh, permanent supportive housing, tiny homes, even safe camping sites for people, and then take one vote in the spring, one vote on all of the sites. And once that vote is taken and it passes, we begin implementing without having to re-argue uh, every site one at a time. So there's a lot of work to do but I am looking forward to 2021. We survived 2020 together, and now we get a chance to, to rebuild and to address some of our most pressing problems. Well, indeed, a lot on your agenda to start the year. And speaking of starting 2021, um, a, a local story that's been getting a lot of attention is this huge New Year's Eve mansion party that happened in Granite Bay. What are your thoughts on this? It was very close to home, not in your city. Not, not in my city, fortunately, but you know what? I think of all of the healthcare workers. I think of all of the teachers. I think all of, the, of all the kids who can't go to school. I think about all the people who have lost loved ones. I think about the people who are sick in the ICU with coronavirus. And I look at that and I say, how selfish can you be? When we know that there is a direct connection between the way people act and behave uh, and these kinds of gatherings and the spread of the virus itself. And so um, it, it's frustrating and it makes me angry and I don't make everybody angry. And, you know, if, if anything, maybe it's a continued reminder that we have it within our power and our control to take steps individually and collectively to protect each other and to end this sooner than later. That's always been the story. And some people don't heed that. I think that's terrible and it's tragic. But um, let's continue to do everything we can in a positive way because for that Granite Bay story, every one of those Granite Bay stories, there are thousands of more people who are doing the right thing and who are staying in or, or being careful when they go out and uh, protecting one another. And that, that's what I hope we can celebrate and champion. Um, and that happened amid a stay-at-home order that's been extended. Um, I think it is important that you continue to remind everyone, like you just did, of how they can play a part to help decrease or even stop the spread of COVID. You briefly mentioned, you know, um, we need to help a lot of these businesses. That's one of your New Year's goals. Does the city have any specific plans in place to continue to be able to help the businesses? I know state lawmakers will head back into session next week. That's a big item on their agenda. Um, what is the city of Sacramento doing? Well, if you remember in 2020, we were fortunate enough to get some of that federal stimulus money. And we chose deliberately to put a lot of that money into assisting small businesses. So one of the things we need to keep fighting for is another federal stimulus package that includes direct aid 
to state and local governments. And if we get our share of that, we're going to do what we did last time and we're going to put it into the community, starting with small businesses. In the meantime, we're going to do everything that we can uh, to uh, provide a, a safe and clean Sacramento and any additional resource we have. We still don't know what our budget numbers are going to be. We're going to do everything we can to assist our community, especially the small businesses. Well, I think that's what we have to do, get back on track. And I appreciate you joining us this morning, sharing some of your thoughts, your New Year's goals for the city, and I wish you the best. Get updates on COVID guidelines, city news, and housing info by going to engagesac.org.